I want to beat first place when yep. it comes down to the nitty gritty knockout stage uh, brackets. Yeah. So, I mean, one off the top of my head straight away, Kurt in Munich, he finished top of the group um, and then got knocked out to fourth place Maestro on, ten, on one point. So it, as long as you're in that top four, it doesn't really matter. You just need to get into that golden top four. And two players that are amongst that at the moment. Oh, I would say Nina, I think Epsilon Joey is within that top four and Ajax Danny not doing too bad either himself and some say the group are deaf in there, some players, you know, Tassi's just outside of that top four, Rocky's in there. Going to need a big performance from Bullock if he uh, wants to be an early start top now from Ajax Danny there, went for the fake shot but Blanc will stick a leg out for Epsilon Joey who is kicking from right to left in the USA uh, home strip with that man, Ajax Danny, kicking from left to right in his uh, away Dutch strip. Yeah, and this, if this is the first time you, uh, you're watching FIFA Ultimate Team, these players, they're playing on unlocked accounts. Every single player is available for them to use. Ronaldo, just Messi. Just offside, is that going to be a chance? Yeah, just offside. Ronaldo, Messi, Neymar, etc. On the Xbox as well, you've got legends that are in use. Maximum three legends can be used, so I think we're going to see uh, a couple of them there in the team. You've got Patrick Vieira playing left centre defensive mid and also Rude Hullet at left attacking mid. These players, why, why are they so pivotal in your team? They give chemistry to every other player in your squad, so it really enables you to, to branch out and use whatever players you want to use. Most definitely, and as you said, you normally see the Hullets, the, the Rio Ferdinand, in a Blanc in here as well. George Best back in the day because... Well, Rocket were using Pelly earlier. Most definitely. Here comes Ajax Danny now, though. This is round four of fixtures. Remember, seven games each player will play. Ronaldo just trying to break through. Burbis been inside on the finesse, and that one just goes wide. Early pressure from Danny. Uh, Danny is a winner. Three of the last four events that he competed in, he went on to win. Munich, he got qualification. The Ziggo E battle, he won that, beating Tass in the final. The Hawks Pro Cup online, he won that. He's a winner, and that's what he does. That's what he can do, especially on the big level, doesn't it? A number of events this year, you've said, especially in Munich. He let us know about it, and against Zach Moore, it was in that final. A man that he's dominant this year, won the, the E Divise E League as well, but. Epsilon Joey, OK, he said he nearly quit competitive FIFA a few years ago. I bet he's glad he didn't now. Yeah, picked up by Epsilon Esports. I'm sure he's going to have his fellow teammates there supporting him as well. Fully from the United Kingdom. You've got Honey Badger and also FIFA Annual. You've got Sneaky as well from France. A number of you know, very good players that were at the qualifiers. They were at the qualification, the regional final, but they didn't get through you know, to the big stage, a lot of these guys. And they'll be supporting their man, Epsilon Joey, in this game. Early goal, Brandon. We have. The stranger is one up against Zinni. Remember, we're giving you all the goals from all the games as they come in. Yeah, awful tackle there from Sergio Ramos. I'm pretty sure he's going to go into the book for that one, just lunging in. And you're thinking, okay, just the yellow card. That can come back and haunt him later. Yeah, we see also petty yellow cards given uh, to players, maybe a tug back or just blocking somebody off. Even it might even be the AI. The player's not initiated the tackle or the foul, and you might get sent off. And going down to ten men against a player of Epsilon Joy's quality, it spells disaster. And I believe I've just seen this, might have to blink again. AA Megazip, 1 0 up against Rocky. He knows how to shoot. An unbelievable finish from Messi there. And Look, I've just seen that, and it will be confirmed very shortly. I've said it time and time again. Megazip, he doesn't lose in Qatar. He's coming across, <laughs> he's unbeaten in Qatar. He's won every point at the moment, though. He needs a big result. Here's a chance now. Ajax Danny into Hullet. One more Ronaldo. Ferdinand will just get something on that, but back to the box for Ronaldo. And they will just jump up and uh, collect that one. Yeah, I want to see how these two play against each other, how their styles mesh, because Joey is not afraid to shoot from range. Danny, complete opposite. He will try and pass the ball into the back of the net, work for the easy goal, you could say. I want to see who, who comes out on top in this clash of styles, Europe versus said, two NA. two different play styles, a lot more risks from the NA kind of guys, taking shots from distance. Could this be one here, Ronaldo? Surely take a low driven if he can. And Penalty. Another day, another day, sorry. Suarez will be back at the back post. Putting that in. Yeah, also could have had a penalty there. He, he just fouled him after the ball had been hit, so I think it got annulled, but still risky defending from uh, Danny. We've seen a couple of sliding tackles flying about. We have indeed, and here comes Danny again. Just got a little bit penalised there, and he's thinking, I've done nothing wrong there. You can see the headphones in for Epsilon Joe at the bottom of your screen. He's not going to be changing a, a winning way, you could say. Yeah, he's probably playing his favourite music. He's getting him in the zone. Just you want to be comfortable, you want to play exactly as you're playing at home. Uh, and we saw Marlo earlier on today playing legs crossed on the on the chair, trying to get as comfortable as possible. Now for that man, oh, it's Danny with a goal! 
Easy as you like. When Ronaldo's on the edge of the box and he's having a finesse, you know you're in trouble. Yeah, you've got to shut him down there if you, Joey. You have to close down the danger. Ronaldo given too much space. Left foot finesse past David De Gea in the goal. And Danny breaks the deadlock. 1-0 in this huge fourth round fixture in Group 2. The group of death, people labelled it. And if you give Ronaldo space, that man will punish you. 99 team of the season card. And some, there's always that discussion. We said it loads of times. Tass is 1-0 up against Bullet. You can see there are any hashtag fans out there. Remember that Tass was just outside that top four area in this group. That could be a huge three points for him. Yeah, massive three points for Tass. Bouncing back after that loss to Rocky just then. So he needs to pick up points if he wants to get into that top four because it's extremely tight, this group, as it stands. Joey there just trying to bring some tick attackers together. I think... A lot He's of times he can. Oh, that's a big counter attack now. If he plays the ball out wide, they just delayed that long ball, didn't they? Just got a few men behind the ball for him. Pull it now. Up against, I think that could be Kante of all people. Yeah, just Kyle kind of Walker as well, matching up on him. Fill him back to uh, to do the defensive duty. But can he get a ball into the box? He's got Ronaldo lurking in there, I believe. Suarez in there as well. No foul given, just a skill dribble to try and get him out. So you saw the way that he was defending there. He had um, Kyle Walker controlled. He was then using the second man press to push on to Angolo Kante to, to uh, mark the space as well. A lot of people do it. They'll use the AI to defend almost for them so they can then mark a pass, mark the space. That's a lot of this how could, the pros do defend. This could be a ball now. Done ever so well just Again. to make sure he got the skill in there. He's going into the book as well. Yeah, but Louise. Answering straight back against hashtag Tass. Won all that game stands. And here comes a free kick now for Epsilon Joey. 1 0 down in this one. Round four. A fixtures point to the box. Flick on maybe. You can see what he wants to do there. Hit it. Marcelo from distance. And what there a you goal. go. You don't shoot. You don't score. What a goal from Marcelo. He was slightly off his line, the goalkeeper. He's absolutely missiled that into the back of the net. I Epsilon think he, Joey back into this game. He got something onto it. He got a finger onto it. But that's Thibaut Courtois sometimes. He's he can't dodging. always perform on the big stage. And 1 1 is the score. Head down from Couture. Oh, It's gone down as a goal. goal. Yeah. It's very. Thibaut Courtois, we talked to the players, he's very dodgy in, in that net. Sometimes he'll be unbelievable, other times he'll make a mistake. And hashtag Tass straight back in front again there. Goals galore, 2-1 at the moment. He's done well there, went one nil up for a change. He normally concedes first, hashtag Tass. Yeah, he's usually having to come back from a losing position. Something I want to talk about this group in particular, it was the group of death coming into this competition. It started off nil nils, one ones all across the board, draws everywhere. Now we're seeing the players have to come out of the shell a little bit. Start to rip people apart, you could say. Have to go out, you have to go and attack, you have to take risks. What happened there? Epson Joey, he took a shot from distance. Will Ajax Danny be able to do that as well? I think that's pull it there, the, the front man for Ajax Danny, but 1 1 is the score and just approaching half time here. Yeah, 1-1 one, one is the score, and it's Danny going to have the last attack of this first half. Looking for a through ball, Ooh. Laurent Blanc, the legend, stands strong. He does stand strong indeed, added time to come. And Rocky has got a goal back in that game, 1-1 one, one against AA Megazip. If AA Megazip got a result there, that would be one of the biggest shots so far in the group stages. Can he just get around the right man? Oh, lovely turn by Ronaldo for Ajax. Danny, finesse, he wants to open it up, he can't do it, and Blanc will send the game into half-time, surely, just after Ronaldo now, just... Is there one more attack, maybe? I think referee, we're blowing up or we, we carry it on? In the middle. Oh, this could be a chance now. Little chip over to Messi if he can get onto it. And That's there you half go. Time. Half time at 1-1. One, one. Yeah, he created a little bit of a space for himself there, did, uh, did Danny with that chance. We're going to see the goal that did open the deadlock from Ajax Danny. Talk me through this, Brandon. Yeah, it was a lovely ball into Cristiano Ronaldo. Open up the space and then finesse past David De Gea. Yeah, and then we see an absolute thunderbolt from Marcelo over the top of Thibaut Courtois. What a goal this is. If you are just joining us, this is the goal that Epsilon this Joey did score. What happened here? Courtois committed off the line a little bit. Kind of got confused there at the defensive area. Couldn't probably see the ball well. Had a flick on it. And there you go. Marcelo made it 1-1. Yeah, and that's why a lot of people do use left-backs that can have a dig. Max Alonso, another uh, fan favourite amongst the pros. He can shoot. He can come forward with the ball. What are we going to say, Brandon, is... Uh, a lot of these players, they're having to come out of the shells. They're having to get get three points on the board, get draws on the board, because at this stage, a loss will put you out of the competition. It will put you out of the competition completely, and that'll be your last chance to maybe get signed by a club or re-get or re-sign a new contract with a club. Here comes Ajax Danny now, just fizzed it through to Ronaldo. So you're not going to be able to get onto the end of that one. Gareth Bale a choice for OK. Yes, I know there's requirements on there, but we're not normally used to seeing Bale. I think why a lot of players have gone for him. Messi, yes. I know he's. I think he's playing as well, maybe, or might be 
I know, he's on the bench. He's physical, Gareth Bale. Yeah, he's he offers that. a bit more physicality. Yeah, he can uh, bring the ball down. He's very good at shielding it. I know we spoke to we spoke to Bullock a little bit ago. He said, why do I use Latin Ibrahimovic? I can ping the ball into him and just shield, just hold people off. Extremely good at just just waiting, shielding the ball, similar to real life, and letting runners come off him. And the Bullock straight back with a special 2-2. Two, two. Manika, 1-0 up over on the PlayStation side. This is how the Xbox group stands. This is the group of death, they say. The secret things just changing around, changing around. Three players on five points. AA Megazip, the Bullock, on three points. Don't write those guys out in there, because no one's running away with this yet, Richard. No, they haven't. I thought somebody would. This could be a chance away. now. Chance for Epsilon Joey. Messi there. That one's just going to take a flick and go out for a corner, but it is the top four that go through from each group. So tomorrow we'll have 16 players from the 32. Yeah, short corner played into Kante. Let's see if we can fizz it across the box. Maybe one more, maybe. Just try to get it to Suarez there. Chiellini at the back there for uh, for Alex Danny. Yeah, I didn't know if we're going to see a counter attack then, but Danny's just just slowing it down a little bit. He's going to carry on playing the way that he plays. He's not going to change the way that he plays his play style just to because he's playing against someone from a different region. Who he doesn't know how he plays. He's going to keep it calm, keep on trying to pass that ball into the good areas, into that perfect area to get a cutback, to get an easy goal, to get an easy finesse shot from the 18 yarder. Don't be surprised though if. He, you know, he does get a goal. He's, he's going to go five at the back. We've seen it time and time again. That's what he does. Chance Messi there, and I think we've just seen goals. Filthy P is continuing to go, and I think that's against Rafifa there. I'll yeah, get a confirmation that Filthy P is having an unbelievable competition. This is where I say about Nicholas Filthy P, the Americas regional, except from Rafifa, obviously. Rafifa qualified back in May. Here comes Alex Danny. We'll talk about that after. Bale Suarez from distance, and that one's just a just a little bit too wide. Yeah, that American region, they played a lot later to a lot of the players. But you could say they're more fresh. They've got more momentum coming into this tournament. As I hear a big, big shout to my right-hand side, I'm sure we'll get the confirmation of who did score that goal. I believe it's Lucas Rep 2 nil up against Moa Bangyang. In that, you can see at the top of your screen, that's PlayStation side of things. Games and goals happening all around us now. Eight stations or eight games underway all the time. Yeah, this is the vital stages of this competition, Brandon. This is where people need to be coming out and need to be getting three points under the belt because simply getting a draw isn't good enough at this stage. Isn't indeed, and here's a chance for Epsilon Joey now. 1-1 one, one is the score in this one, and if whoever wins this one, it will separate the group a little bit because these two are amongst it at the moment. Yeah, you're going to see a little bit of separation. And something that I've seen in this second half so far, just looking at it, Epsilon Joey seems to be more aggressive of the two players. He seems to be more looking to get that just victory. in there, ball across the box. Maybe another day that one will just go into the corner, but a superb de defensive block by one of Ice Danny's top humming song from distance. And what a goal that would have been. Uh, will leap and collect that one with two hands. Yeah, what a finish that would have been if Hong Min Son had put that into the top left corner. We would have had some let's goals and some big cheers uh, from that station. Danny, though, no changes so far. He's, he's not made any substitutes. He's keeping solid with his team. I want to see a pause. I want to see some fresh legs come on. You have to. If something's not working, change it. OK, yes, you said about the play style. It's completely different. He's had a successful year. You're not going to change that, but you've got fresh legs on your bench. Bring them on. But here he comes with Suarez. He's going to whip that into the box if he can. He's got Ronaldo lurking around in there, just trying to find that ball across. Ronaldo's in there and... Unbelievable defensive work from Joey there. Just got in front of his man. Just got in front of the big man, Ronaldo. Just to put him off, he didn't even win the header. He just kept it. He put him that under pressure that he couldn't dispatch the goal. And here we go. Literally 10 in-game minutes left to, to really, you know, separate yourself in that group because it's so tight at the moment. Eight points to five is the gap. Then it goes down to three points. And, of course, there's only one player that isn't really amongst them at the moment, Marla. Uh, he was also, sorry, he's in, a, in a, a different group, I think. Sorry, apologies about that. But... We'll get to see the full breakdown of the groups. Even I meant Bullock. He's only on three points if he does draw this, but he can still win. Okay, his last three games would be amongst the top four. Yeah, it's so tight this group. I think eight points is what, at the top of the group, bottom of the group, two points, Rafifa. It's only six points separating it. It's only two wins that. So if you can beat people at the top of the group, as we've seen here, a draw between these two, Bullock and uh, Tass as well, I think they're also drawing. Let's, let's just see what happens. See what happens indeed. You can see, just looking over the shoulder there, chance now for Danny there, free kick. No, it's not. It's just going to be a chance for David De Gea. 73 minutes on the clock in the other game between hashtag Tass and Bullock. That's 2-2 two -two over there. They would have faced before a number of times, I can uh, assure you on that one. 
but will there be one more chance? You always say you're going to get one more chance, Richard, but who's going to get it back? Moa Bangyang, 2-2 two, two now of Lucas Repi was 2-0 down, now he's at 2-2, two, two, and we've given you all the scores on that one. Ball back inside, Bale drops the shoulder, back inside to Bale again, Hullet will try to just... Get the man from his home nation. Look for Barcelona. a counter attack here from Epsilon Joey. He's going to try and get this win. He doesn't want a point. He wants all three and he's going to try and snatch them from Ajax Danny. Ball into Patrick Vieira. This is it. This is it. Last chance now. A point would be good for him, but he's looking for all three. Maybe this could be it. Messi, you've got to take your chance now. Messi again. Surely. Ooh. Corner. Oh, God. The twat, there it. we go. Keeps it in for the. Uh, and there you go, full-time whistle here, 1-1, Ajax Danny versus Epsilon Joey, and I don't really know where that puts standings at the moment, because there's been a lot of draws, there's been a few wins, but let's have a look at the goals that did go in from that game, only two goals it was.